What's happening everybody, the poets here. Hope you're doing well and staying safe. Today's video is about thermal pads by Arctic. They have their new TP3s out with different thicknesses as well. So we have here half a millimeter, one millimeter, and 1.5 millimeters. So that's gonna give us some options to hopefully reduce the temperatures of this very hot running 3090 on the VRAM side. This is actually a really nice running 3090 by HP Omen. You'll get this in like an HP Omen 30L or 45L. And the only downside of these 3090s really is that the VRAM is on the back and there's no fans on the back. You'll notice that everything on the front is easily gonna be cooled, but the back side where a lot of the VRAM is, it's just a back plate and that's it. You have, there's no real airflow. The only airflow is really coming from the front fans or like whatever case fans you may have. And we've always seen like tons of videos of people putting like extra fans on the back of their 3090s just to try to keep that VRAM cool. Uh, if the VRAM overheats, you're gonna get performance issues, right? Nobody wants that. Uh, so Arctic is uh, kind of on the move. My last video I showed that their newest MX6 um, thermal paste actually did very well versus their MX4. It dropped temperatures on this 7950X, this very hot running CPU by AMD, by about two to three degrees Celsius, depending on the game or application. So that's pretty nice. So this, with their thermal pads, I have high hopes for a decent performance with the TP3s. So I'm gonna take off this 3090, remove the back plate, see what size thermal pads they actually have as stock, pick the right one based on the size, slap it back together, and then run these benchmarks over and over again, you know, until it gets too hot in here, basically. So I do have a good baseline right now. VRAM is hot. So let's just get to it. After you cut these down to size, it's probably best to go ahead and peel the, the clear side because this is kind of like the tougher side because the light blue side actually comes off very easily. So good luck. Just like that. Sort of. So we have to open this back up because the temperatures were definitely not acceptable. Uh, so we may have used too thin of the thermal pads for the Arctic TP3s. That's one reason why Arctic sent us uh, three different sizes because apparently the half millimeter was definitely too thin for this 3090. So this right here is the 1.5 millimeter. Let's just open it up and take a look. And I might be able to tell right away if it's definitely too thick. Oh, this is extremely heavy and thick. Um, let's take a look at the one, one millimeter. So this actually feels more in line. So let's go with the one millimeter and see how this goes. So this looks a lot better. I'll go ahead and put these down. And I automatically feel the contact being a lot stronger right in this area as well. There we go. You can see a little bit of the pad squishing out here. That's what we want. That's how we know we have good contact this time. And so we're at the conclusion of this video with the TP3 thermal pads by Arctic. And this one is a thick boy. So initially the thermal pads that came with the HP Omen 3090 were, I don't know, kind of questionable. They're very crusty and stuff. 
uh, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but temperatures were easily hitting 96 degrees Celsius at times, uh, a lot of times mainly 94 degrees. Uh, so that's, that's a bit toasty for VRMs on a 3090. And it's the downside of a lot of 3090s because the VRMs are on the backside. There's no active cooling back there, so they just run hot. So the only cooling you have is literally a thermal pad on the back metal plate and then whatever airflow you may have coming from like your front fans. So I was hitting about 96 degrees Celsius on average with the stock thermal pads on the 3090 here. Now, initially I used the fairly thin 0.5 millimeter uh, thermal pad here by Arctic, the TP3s, and it wasn't doing the trick. I would, my temperatures actually went up to 102 degrees Celsius. So it was either this was poor quality or it just was the wrong size. It was the wrong size. So when I went with the one millimeter, this immediately made a difference because as I put it on the VRAM and then put the back plate right on top of it, I could easily feel that, okay, now there's pressure on this. There just was no pressure on the um, half millimeter ones. So then putting it back together, running the benchmarks, the first benchmark, it maxed out at 86 degrees Celsius on the VRMs as opposed to 96. So that was a 10 degree difference, which is nice. And then of course, after running it over and over again for a few times, those wa there was um, about an average about 88 to 89 degrees Celsius, as opposed to the 94 to 96 degrees Celsius with the stock thermal pads. So that is a nice bump in uh, performance for thermal transfer right there, and definitely made this whole process worth it. So you wanna make sure that your VRMs are as low temperature as possible. It lengthens the life of your 3090 or other GPUs that you may want to do this to, but definitely the 3090s with the hot um, backside for the VRMs. So with that, it's straightforward, straight up math. Thank you to Arctic for helping me do this series. And we have more videos to come with other Arctic stuff too. So stay tuned for that. But if you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button. I think about 85% of you that watch this video or these videos aren't subscribed. So subscribe, I have cake and uh, go ahead and hit the like button and feel free to share it as well. So other than that, if you have questions, put them down below and I try to answer and uh, I'm easy to reach on Twitter as well. That's like my main place for communication too. So yes, I changed out the keyboard and I have the trackball mouse here too. Logitech in the house. So, all right, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.